I will give a warning to the monkey. Hey monkey, there's a danger above you. So please move. So the monkey is not moving. So let's play and see what happens. Oh! I will add ground plane. I'll increase the size. Make it big. And I will quickly give it a material. And let's give a sandy color. A little bit darker. Okay. So press Z and then select material preview. Okay. So this is somewhat sandy color. And now shift A and then select Taurus. I will rotate this. So I'll make it standing. Press R to rotate and then X. I can type in the value 90 for 90 degree rotation. So press G and Z so I can move this up. If I want to see in the orthographic view, the front view, so I can tap the tilde key on my keyboard and then click on front. And now I can move this up further. So it's just standing almost touching the floor. Okay. So this is good. Now I can give this a funky color. Maybe something like this. Like blue. Good. Can change the name. Just to keep things simple. And change the name. Ground. Okay. Now I will go to object. Under the quick effects. I will select cell fracture. So in order to get this, it comes with Blender. You have to go to edit and you have to install this. You go to edit preferences under the add-on section. You can type, just type cell and you will get the result. Just click on the check mark and it will be installed. Okay. And then after it's installed, it will appear under the quick effects okay so i will select cell fracture and now here's the settings panel for this let's enter the value 200 enter and then press ok and let's see the result so it's doing its thing let's see if we get a clean result yes it is done so I have the original mesh visible. So what I can do is hide it. So this is the fractured result. It's all selected. While it is selected, I can send this to a collection of its own. Press M on the keyboard. It will move to a collection. So let's create a new collection and we'll give a name. Let's say Taurus and C for collection. Press OK. All right, so this here in the scenes collection, you can see I will collapse this. Now make this fall on the ground. Uh, right click and then select object. So it will select everything. And I can go to object again under the rigid body section. I can click add active. If I press play, it goes through the ground. It should collide with the ground so in order to make this happen let's select the ground plane we'll go one more time and this time instead of active i will select passive now it should work before i do it let me make things a little bit interesting select all the objects and move this up further let's move this up okay now i will add a guest let me select this default collection and now shift A and I will add a monkey. So I can see the name of the monkey is Suzanne. So let's press G and C to move it up somewhere here. And let's give a material to this monkey. Some brownish tone. Maybe a darker brown. Something like this. Okay. To move this Taurus above. I'm putting the monkey in a little bit of a danger, but I will give the warning to the monkey. Let's select the monkey and come over here and add passive rigid body to it. So the Taurus collides with the monkey. But before that, I will give a warning to the monkey. Hey monkey, there's a danger above you. 
so please move so the monkey is not moving so let's play and see what happens oh and there's the last piece ah are you okay hello and then what happens is this i will press play oh so then exploded and oh what a mess okay i hope we learned something from this add-on so thank you for watching give a thumbs up don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already see you in the next video take care and bye bye